Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at Google's Blogger service. If you use iWeb, it's time to start looking at alternatives. One good alternative is Blogger, which is a Google service. It works with your Gmail or standard Google account and it gives you a free blog. But just because it's free doesn't mean it's not good. It actually has a lot of features. Let's take a look. Now first sign into your Google Gmail account and then go to blogger.com. After you accept the terms of the service you'll have Blogger added as one of your Google services. And then blogger.com looks like this. Uh, here you can manage blogs. On Blogger you can have more than one blog and have a whole bunch of them if you want. Just like you could on MobileMe. And you just need to create your first blog by clicking on this button here. Get started. Now you come up with a blog title. So this could be anything. So um, We'll just do a title like that and then you come up with the URL. Now the URL is going to be something.blogspot.com kind of similar to how the me.com uh, URLs work. So you want to come up with something here. We'll just do that and click on the check availability. It says it's available and continue. And now you've created your blog. The next step is to pick a template. Now you'll be able to change your template, something else, and even alter the template later on. So just take a look at some of the samples here. Uh, pick one. We'll just stick with the simple one here and continue. And then you can go to the main page for your blog. So this is where you would write new posts. So you can see here you to write a new post. Just type in a title, some text here and then you can publish it at the bottom. And then you can jump to view it. Now this is how other people will see your post. So you've got uh, macmosample.blogspot.com and then the URL for that post. Now if you don't want to create a blog, you just want to create a website, well consider that there's really not much difference. I mean the only difference between a website and a blog is a blog will tend to have a series of articles or posts that have a date or time attached to them. But most websites have that anyway. So no matter what your website is like, you should be able to do something similar, if not better, as a blog as you could as just a plain website. There's really no difference. Now if we go back we see all the different ways we can control our blog. So for instance for posting we can edit the posts. We can also create pages which are things like an about me page or a resume page or something like that that doesn't have a specific uh, time stamp to it. So it's not like an article you posted. It's something that's going to always be there. Uh, you can control whether comments are left at your page and what comments are there. Uh, in the settings you, that's where you do that right there. And then here is where you would actually review your comments. Uh, under settings you can control Lots of different things for how the, page, the front page looks. You can go into um, different things like how frequently your posts are archived, uh, what the RSS feed looks like. Um, you can even uh, have a mobile template turned on so it looks different when it's viewed on an iPhone. And you can also post via a email address, a secret email address, so you can actually make posts by sending an email. So already you could see some advantages over MobileMe's iWeb. Uh, in addition to that you can go to design here and you can edit the HTML of your template. You could also go to the template designer here, pick from more templates or actually alter your existing template with different backgrounds, layouts. There are tons of things that you can do. Now if you're not sure if this is for you, I would encourage you to just create one. It's completely free. You don't have to tell anybody about it. Just add Blogger to your Google account and play around with it for a bit. Experiment. See what you can do with the template. See what you can do with posting. It's a lot of different things. It's a very neat service especially for the price. There are even uh, statistics that you can get on how many people have viewed your stuff. So another big advantage over iWeb. Now there is even a publishing option where you can use a custom domain. So you can purchase your own domain or use one that you already have and have your blog use that instead of the blogspot.com URL. So if you've already been using your own custom domain with MobileMe you can switch that to point to your new blogger blog and everybody visiting your old page will suddenly be visiting your new one. 
I'll be showing you some other alternatives in future episodes to using iWeb. Some that are blogging like systems. Some that are like building more static type websites. So look for those. Till next time this is Gary with MacMost Now.